Yes, we're all here now. Hello and welcome back. Chris will be here with the sport in a moment. But first, you might be considered foolhardy if you set out to sea in a boat which didn't have satellite navigation equipment on board because now it's considered essential. Indeed, and if a Berkshire company has its way, we'll soon be setting out on car journeys using the same technology. GPS, or Global Positioning Satellite Systems, combined with personal computers, have made it a reality. Nick Knowles, who else, went to investigate. Excuse me, can you uh, tell me where the nearest petrol station is, please? Um, well, there's one, if you go along there and then turn right, then there's one. It's not, um, um... There's one up there on the right, it's the Nesso garage. Don't you just hate it when this happens? The trouble is, people's directions can be so inaccurate, but with a new in-car system developed in Sunningdale, you can get accurate information as you travel. We are near Jade County Chinese restaurant, on our right. We are near the Wells Public House, on our left. Now this is particularly handy if you're beginning to run out of fuel. You can immediately ask the computer, Petrol station. The nearest place is the fulfilling station. Going five miles ahead at hour 12 o'clock. The second nearest place is... Now this Lexus Sora is available for sale in this country, but it was originally developed for sale in Japan, hence the GPS navigation system already being built in. But it's a simple enough system. A unit like this interacts with a number of military satellites orbiting the globe to tell you exactly where on the planet you are. This information is then fed into a small computer which has all the local information already programmed onto it. Restaurants, pubs, petrol stations, railway stations, whatever you need to know. In Japan, uh, they, they have over a million cars now with GPS. They've been running it for five years, and it is the way of the future without a shadow of a doubt. Now, you drive around Tokyo a lot, don't you? Do you use the system? I have to, because my reading of Japanese is appalling, and I can't read it fast enough. But with the GPS system, you can find pretty much anywhere you want. But you don't have to buy a car with the GPS system already built in. It can be installed in any kind of car currently on the road. With the new uh, revolution in low-cost software, PCs and GPS units, any car can have it fitted from a metro through to a Rolls Royce. Well, the fact that the guidance is by voice means that the driver doesn't have to take his eyes off the road. He's, uh, he's able to just listen to the, the commentary if he wants it on, on how to get to where he wants to go. We are near the Chef Chinese Turkey record on our life. Now, I know what you're thinking. That American accent is really getting on your nerves. Well, there is an alternative. Moving northeast. Ascot Town Centre. One mile. To our left. At your nine o'clock. And what about if you happen to be French? Or you're just practicing French? Tourne à gauche au rond point vers la gare. Experts say informatics, that's in-car navigation, will be worth £3 billion within 15 years. That's big business, with British companies from Berkshire leading the way. So without ever having to look at a map, I can navigate my way all the way from here to, say, Tokyo. So it's a good night from me. And it is good night from me.